everyone, it's Amazika here and I am so excited to share that I am a design team member for a UK based scrapbook store or craft store which is called the Swedish Craft House and they carry all those beautiful Swedish products that are so beautiful, oh my gosh and I'm so thrilled that I'm now able to get my hands on Peon Design papers straight from the UK so I don't have to wait as long as if I shop from the US store because I am unable to shop via Sweden because I don't have a Swedish card so it's a bit difficult but by shopping via the UK The Swedish it. Craft House carries oodles of beautiful Swedish products and let me share with you what I plan on using while creating this little mini album. First of all I have these beautiful blue flowers. They're a bit too bright for what I want but that's okay I can just use white ink or anything to make them a bit softer but these are so pretty. And then I have this sheet of rhinestone. I mean, how pretty is that? Oh, you can cut them up, use them as straight lines or individuals. I'll be using several of these. And then another set of flowers. Let's just open this up. These are really pretty, quite dimensional. And I love these little streaks. So I'm planning using these as well. And then I have two die cuts. I have this die cut from Give Me A Pan. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, called Dudlad Circle. Uh, Dudlad Circle. And I really like this, this one because this can be absolutely beautiful. In cards, layouts, mini albums. Anything you can think of. So I'm planning using this one. Then I've got another one from Give Me A Pan also. Called Dudlad Yerta or Doodle Heart, and this is so pretty. I just fell in love with this design. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I have this stamp, rubber stamp. Uh, these come unmounted. They come just like that, but I just bought an, e an easy mount and stuck that here and cut around it. Quite simple to do, if I can do it anyone can. And this one from Give Me A Pan also and call, it's called a hand net and this is a large one. You can also get a smaller one. And this is absolutely beautiful to add a bit of texture and just interest to any page or card. Now that I've covered the embellishments, let's have a look at the beautiful paper. Oh my gosh. This is from Images from the Past, Easter Greetings. And these are such beautiful cutouts. Absolutely stunning. And this is why I love PM Design. The images are so pretty, detailed, vintagey, awesome. Oh, I just adore them. And then let's get to the paper. This collection is called Easter Greetings. And we have these gorgeous papers. Great for cutouts or to use as a whole page. I mean, how cute are these little? <laughs> and these are all double sided, so you get beautiful papers on both sides. So, you gotta make a choice. What do I cut up? And then I have this one. Oh absolutely beautiful and I love these little banners that they or frames so you can use them as a whole or cut this out absolutely adorable and coordinating pattern back and then you have another one here and these absolutely adorable little chickadees oh cute and another beautiful pattern and then this one's really neutral but then you have a look at the top. Oh, stunning. So pretty. And how cute is it all? 
gorgeous pattern on the back. And another chickadee cuteness. Beautiful. And these could be great as to cut out or to fussy cut or to use uh, die cuts. Great for 70 pieces of cards, really. Really pretty. We got three on this one. And then beautiful pad of paper at the back. And this is absolutely stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. This could be great as a background for a layout. Everything is framed for you. Stunning. What a beautiful colour here. And these all coordinate within the collection. So, But still you've got the blues and the greens and the pinks and the purple. Stunning. And this paper is absolutely gorgeous. Just love how the how it frames the whole image. Great for scrapbooking. And then the pattern on the back. And then you have the pink version, kind of. Beautiful. Just adore this. And then the pattern on the back. I just love this violety colour. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful as a background for layout. Or anything really. And pattern on the back. Beautiful subtle damask pattern. Beautiful. And this lines on the back. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, so pretty. And this subtle cloud pattern. It's really hard to see on camera, but I hope you're able to. Beautiful as a background. Stunning. And this beautiful violet purple flowers. Oh, so pretty. And a, a bit of distressed background. Really subtle, but does a whole lot. And this, oh my gosh. How pretty is this? And you've got these tiny little butterflies. Oh, perfect. And I love these kind of papers. They've got text and this is like an old newspaper kind of version. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And then another damask pattern in the purple colour. Stunning. It's beautiful. So many colours but still so subtle and pretty. And the blue damask version. And another subtle pattern. And then you get this paper. This gives you so many options. Cutting these out individually and then having these rows beautiful to add texture and interest to any card layout or mini album. Beautiful. So many things you can do with this. And then this gorgeous damask pattern on the back. Then you have this gorgeous cut out sheet. These are so pretty. Great for journaling. Then you can cut these out individually. We have tickets. Then more beautiful cutouts. And these absolutely stunning. These can add so much, even as a layout card, altered, anything. And then you have this beautiful soft pink in the back. And then you have these this cutout sheet. Beautiful. Love these tiny little postcards. And this and then have these eggs. Well, this is an Easter themed collection, so beautiful. And then you have these tags. I really like these. Really pretty. Great for journaling. And you have these little smaller ones. Absolutely stunning. And so I plan on using all these. On my dad's stuff, then I'll let you know. Uh, I have a mini prepared. And I cut that. This is just a watercolour paper. That I'm keeping as my pages and then I've already cut out pieces of cardboard which are measure seven by five and a half inches and I select the cover front and back and then I plan on using my rings and bind it all to bind it all together Okay, let's get to the album making. So I already cut the uh, cardboard or chipboard 
uh, down to seven by five and a half inches and now I'm just covering the whole panel with double-sided adhesive and I'm being very generous because I do not want my pattern paper to move at all and I'm just making sure that there are no gaps in there so it doesn't uh, suddenly fall apart or anything so lots of adhesive is necessary and I really like the score tape for this it works great uh, it works great for me but of course you can always choose the uh, tape that you prefer to use now to make sure that the uh, tape is all stuck I use my bone folder to burnish the tape and that way I am certain that the adhesive will stick to both the uh, cardboard and the paper and now I'm just peeling the backing off and prepping it for the patterned paper and I've already chosen my pattern paper and I just lay it flat to where I want to and burnish yet again to make sure everything is completely stuck together and my paper is slightly larger than the cardboard and I just use my craft knife to get rid of the extra pattern paper and now that I, I did that to the cover piece and did that to the other one as well and now I am turning to the uh, pattern paper that I have cut down and about a quarter of an inch smaller than the actual album is and I'm just inking all the edges with Distress Ink just to give it a nice finish so each and every pattern paper will be getting a Distress Ink and I did the same thing for the cover pages or the cover, front cover and the back cover and also for all the pages they go inside the book and they use the same ink for everything and these are the pages and they are the same measurements as the uh, front and back cover and the pages are made out of watercolour paper it just gives them a little bit more stability and then I just mount each and every page with the pattern papers that I've already cut and inked and I'm just sticking them down where I want them and do not be stingy in the glue department and I'm just figuring out as I go where I am putting uh, my pattern paper so which pages are going to be together and all that, just personal preference.
now that I've adhered everything together uh, it's all coming together nicely and I've also also made the uh, holes for the binding for the spine so now I'm just adding my rings to the uh, book as to put it all together and I'm just using my bind it all and the rings I'm using are one inch rings I believe I'm just trying to get them as rounded as possible and the uh, basic album is all complete and all I have to do now is decorate so this mini came together ever so quickly and here you have a few pictures of the finished mini all decorated and ready so hope you enjoy <laughs>